The teddy bear is one of the most beloved toys of all time, with kids all across the world owning them. The origins and creation of this iconic toy go hand in hand with an even more iconic person from history, Theodore Roosevelt. Let's get right into how Theodore Roosevelt created the most popular toy of all time. Following the assassination of President William McKinley on September 14, 1901, Theodore Roosevelt will be thrust into the presidency as the 26th President of the United States. Through Roosevelt's tenure as president, he would have to deal with a nation shocked and horrified by the murder of an extremely popular president and the continued division between labor and ownership. This would come to a head in spring of 1902 when members of the United Mine Workers in the anthracite coal fields of Pennsylvania would go on strike calling for higher wages and shorter hours. Ownership of the mines would deny these demands, claiming that their profits were too low for this while also saying that the union destroyed discipline. Roosevelt was a major activist and wanted to get involved with the strike. He would send then Commissioner of Labor Carol D. Wright to investigate the strike. Because of the strike, there became a very serious threat of a nationwide coal shortage. Roosevelt would complain to Senator Henry Cabot Lodge, quote, There is literally nothing the national government has any power to do, end quote. While he had no legal powers to end the strike, Roosevelt was determined to have ownership and union members come together and end it. After 163 days of striking, on October 23, 1902, it would end, due in large part because of the creation of the Anthracite Coal Strike Commission that would settle disputed issues between the workers and the ownership. Following the conclusion of the situation, Roosevelt decides he needs a break, and being a passionate hunter, accepts an invitation from Mississippi Governor Andrew H. Longino to join a hunting trip near Onward, Mississippi in November of 1902. Guided by expert huntsman Holt Collier, a former slave and cavalry member of the Confederate Army, President Roosevelt and the hunting party begin their four-day trip. Following the first day of hunting while some members of the party had spotted bears, Roosevelt still hadn't seen any. On November 14, 1902, it's believed that the hunting dogs managed to corner an old black bear, and while distracted, Collier managed to hit the bear with the butt of his gun, stunning it long enough for him to tie it to a tree. From there, Collier sent for President Roosevelt to have the honor of shooting the bear. Supposedly, after seeing the pitiful sight of the old bear tied to a tree, Roosevelt said, quote, I've hunted game all over America, and I'm proud to be a hunter. But I couldn't be proud of myself if I shot an old, tired, worn-out bear that was tied to a tree." End quote. News of Roosevelt's refusal to shoot the bear quickly reached journalists across the country, making the front page of almost every major newspaper. The most notable of these would be published on November 16, 1902, by the Washington Post, in which political cartoonist Clifford K. Berryman created the drawing captioned, Drawing the Line of Mississippi in which you can see Roosevelt turning his back on a man, holding a rope tied around a bear. After seeing Berryman's cartoon and the news coverage of the president's hunting trip, New York candy shop owners Morris Mitchum and his wife Rose, being moved by the story, created a stuffed bear named Teddy's Bear in his honor, and they would put it in their shop's window. With the entire nation enamored with the story, the next day, the Mitchdoms had many customers requesting to buy the stuffed bear. Seeing a golden opportunity, the Mitchdoms would send the original bear to President Roosevelt, asking for his permission to use his name for their toy. After receiving his permission, the Mitchdoms would leave the candy industry and begin working full-time on creating teddy bears in their new company, The Ideal Toy Company. The toy would receive so much popularity that the Republican Party adopted it as their symbol during the 1904 election. Theodore Roosevelt didn't plan on creating one of the most iconic toys of all time when he went on that hunting trip in 1902. Yet, when he returned from those woods, he had unintentionally created one of the most famous icons 
of all time. 